Hello friends, welcome to Cracked CSE and in this series of algorithm, our next topic is bucket sort. So this is also one of the non-comparison based sorting algorithm. So without wasting time, just let's move on to this particular topic. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, just subscribe to my channel and push that notification icon as well so that you will receive any new notification regarding the video so without wasting time just let's move on to this particular bucket shot so bucket shot is also known as bin shot right so don't be confused if you saw bin shot at any place instead of a bucket shot so what is the working principle so it works by distributing the elements of an array into a number of buckets so what it do does is if we are having a particular input of an array so what it does is it distributes that particular numbers or the elements of an array into different number of buckets so the number of elements will be equal to the number of buckets right then what we will do is each bucket the number of items which we have in a bucket each bucket will be sorted individually using any other algorithm and then we will be joining all those element of the bucket one by one to give the sorting sequence so for example if you talk about the this example one of one thing as well this particular bucket sort is sometimes considered as a comparison based sorting and sometimes considered as a non comparison based sorting because of the the different sorting algorithm that we are using to sort the individual buckets right that will come in example as well so here you can see that here we have 10 elements right so these are the 10 elements i am having in an array so the value of n is 10 that means what we have to do is we have to take create 10 buckets or list you can say so here I have taken 10 buckets from 0 to 9. So these are the 10 buckets I have created. Now what I will do to store each of them into a bucket. So I have 10 buckets here, 10 elements here. So for putting the element into the bucket, what I have to do is I have to multiply that particular element with the value of n. Here you can see that the value is 0.78 I have to multiply this with 10 if I multiply this with 10 it will be 7.8 right 7.8 means it will go into the seventh bucket so this will be nothing but 7.8 now next move on to the 0.17 if I multiply it by 10 it will be nothing but 1.7 which will be here yeah. So similarly we have to do for all of the things 0 0.39 will be sorry 0 0.39 we can write it like this and this will be 0 0.17 sorry and this will be 0 0.78 so we have to write this particular element because we are putting this element into the bucket right so this is done 0 0.26 will be here point seven two will be here point nine four will be here zero point two one will be here zero point one two zero point two three zero point six eight so we did the first part that is we have distributed the elements into the number of buckets so our first step is that now what we have to do is we have to we have to sort each bucket that is bucket number one bucket number two bucket number three we have to sort these buckets individually what does it mean is it is 0 0.17 it is 0 0.12 so it will be 0 0.12 then 0 0.17 so this is sorted down right this is the 
update sequence of 1 if you talk about the 2 here it is 0 0.26 0 0.21 0 0.23 so what it will be it will be 0 0.21 then 23 then 26 so i'm just writing here in rough so it will be like 0 0.21 0 0.23 0 0.26 this is one already sorted this is one already sorted and this is 0 0.78 0 0.72 so when we sort it it will be like 0 0.72 next will be 0 0.78 right so now you can see that each individual bucket is sorted now what we have to do is we have to print the particular bucket one by one how you can print it go to the zero no element no issues plus one we will take a loop to print this thing plus one which is 0 0.12 0 0.17 just right hand 0 0.12 next will be 0 0.17 so this is done move on to the second one this is 0 0.21 0 0.23 0 0.26 so this is done move to the third one which is 0 0.23 this one is done fourth no element fifth no element sixth one element which is 0 0.68 seventh two element 0 0.72 and 0 0.78 eighth no element ninth one element 0 0.94 now you can see that this particular element the list of the elements is sorted so this way, this is the initial procedure to short the number of arrays, the elements of array using the bucket short. So I haven't tried the pseudo code here for the algorithm because they has not been asked in the previous end they, it, and hopefully they will not be asked the algorithm. They will be asking the general things that I'm explaining over here. So, but just, just discuss the particular algorithm in just a, a overview manner. So firstly what we have to do is we have to create n empty buckets the number of elements 10 so we have created 10 buckets right and for each element and array what we have to do is we have to insert that particular element into the bucket by multiplying it with number of elements so this is what we did in second step third step we sort the individual bucket so we sorted the individual buckets right and fourth is concatenate all the sorted bucket so in the end what we did is we, we just concatenated, concatenated each of the bucket short into a single array to give the output right so this is the way we work in bubble short the worst case time complexity here is order of n square right why it is order of n square it is order of n square because if there is the two particular list of n by 2 and n by 2 for example i am having 10 elements over here and in the worst case what can happen is that i am having five element in particular one bucket and rest five element in the other bucket then what i have to do is i have to sort that particular uh, that particular bucket using a sorting algorithm right so in case if i use an sorting algorithm like selection sort bubble sort or an insertion sort so these sorting algorithms gives the order of n square in the worst case so because of that particular inner sorting algorithm the worst case becomes as order of n square and if we use some radix sort or counting sort in that case the time complexity is order of n because of this the average case is order of n I hope you got that particular point right and the space complexity will be n into k where k is nothing but number of buckets right n is the number of elements this n is the number of elements this k is the number of buckets why the space complexity is n into k because it so happens that we have to take the k buckets and each buckets we have to place the element of the array because of which the space complexity is nothing but n into k right so i hope that this video is helpful for your preparation if you found this particular video helpful like this video do comment and let me know your views about this particular video 
सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल पोस्टल नोटिफिकेशन आयकर कीप सपोर्टिंग कीप लर्निंग हैव अ ग्रेट डे अहेड